Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new vanity. Welcome to my new filming setup. I am so excited to be introducing this vanity transformation to you guys. This is the final product, of course, and this has been six months in the making. I have been filming this whole process for six months and documenting everything, shopping for pieces, the assembly, all of that good stuff, and I am just so excited that it's finally done. I am so excited that I have my own YouTube studio and like beauty space, and I'm just so excited. I have no other words, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm not gonna be too detailed in this intro because in a few seconds, you guys will see another intro that I filmed back in January. I just felt like before we got into that intro, I wanted to make another intro just introducing this concept. So today you guys are going to see a very long vlog showing you the whole process of my vanity transformation. So I really hope that you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and flash back to January when this whole process started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited to be introducing this video I'm gonna be doing my vanity transformation I've been wanting a new setup for so long I have a vanity that I love and it was really great for like a beginner's vanity but now that I really feel like I'm growing my channel and I really want to focus on my setup and having a more efficient just makeup space and filming space quote-unquote like a little studio I'm still gonna be doing everything out of my room which is here but my room is a pretty decent size so I figured this side of my room that I'm standing in right Right now in front of me I could turn into like my little makeup and filming studio space which I thought would be super awesome so for today's video you guys are gonna see my whole vanity transformation my beginners vanity the pieces that I use makeup organization makeup organizers building new pieces moving the vanity from one part of my room to another you guys are gonna see the whole process here this has just been something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I figured it would be really great to share with you guys hopefully I could give you guys some makeup and vanity setup in I'm not sure when I will be uploading this because it is my winter break right now And I don't know if I'll be able to get all the pieces I need before I head back to school right now It is January 9th, and I just started the process this week I kind of started a few days ago my boyfriend helped me build my second Alex drawer and all of that So I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this video all about my vanity transformation Definitely make sure that you guys check the description box for links all of that is gonna be linked down below Whether it be a furniture piece an organizer filming equipment stuff like that all of it will be link down below so I really hope that you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and get started okay so here's a look at my current vanity setup I'll walk you guys through the pieces that I have right now sorry if it's a little dark or if you guys see like reflections it is so dark outside so I just popped up one of my soft boxes but here is the little vanity setup I'm working with right now so I'll just talk you guys through the actual pieces so for my actual vanity this is a one-person computer desk it is called the Mickey one-person computer desk from Ikea I will have it linked down below and also I'll pop the name on the screen but if you guys see right here it actually has the little hole for like a monitor or whatever and the wires can go down through the desk that way so this is meant to be a computer desk but when I saw it on Ikea it was a really great price and I thought it was a really good size for my first vanity I figured I could just put something over the hole it always worked out really well I've had this for a few years and I still think it's in good condition and if you guys I don't know if you remember I just had like Muji drawers and acrylic organizers stacked on top as my main source of makeup storage so then as my makeup collection started to expand it was kind of a lot of acrylic organizers and I kept filling up drawers that were on the top of my vanity so I decided to finally get an Alex drawer so that is what is right here you guys have seen tons of videos on this and how I organized it I'll open it up again in a second and show you guys but I really needed to upgrade to an Alex drawer this Alex drawer I got in August 2017 it was a birthday gift so only like a year and a half ago almost and I don't know if you guys can see but I just filled this up I've collected a lot of makeup since then and it's just really full I need more storage so I decided to get another Alex drawer and for Christmas my mom got me another one that I have to build and that's what I'm gonna be doing today so right now when you walk up the stairs into my room my vanity is not in the middle of my room but I want it just in like a corner so if you guys see this is kind of like a window that's in my room when you pan over over here this is like my little quote-unquote filming studio I usually have all my stuff set up over here let me turn my softbox a little so it brightens it up there we go so here's like my little quote-unquote filming studio I like to sit here and film I have this little bench some frames and stuff but my ultimate goal eventually is to take this desk out and this whole wall I want to be a vanity space I want it to be the background of my filming I think it'll just be more efficient I kind of want to have my YouTube space and my makeup space just in one corner of my room I think it'll be more efficient
efficient. So as you guys can see, I just have my lights and everything kind of set up over here. And I think just having this whole wall for like my makeup in YouTube would be awesome. So when I set up my new vanity, I'm gonna do two Alex drawers and then the Linman tabletop. This is the before of the space that my new vanity is hopefully gonna go in my little filming setup, and then this is the before of my vanity and makeup area that I'm currently working with right now. is the second drawer built i just have it next to my desk on the other side it's definitely not staying like this like i said i'm gonna get the tabletop but i'm so happy my boyfriend did a great job <laughs> um but yeah next i want to do like liners in here i have liners in my other drawers just so stuff doesn't slide when you open and close the drawer but, like here's one of my drawers that i have already i don't know if you guys can see but I have like this grippy liner so when you open and close the drawer the acrylic organizers don't go sliding which I think is really good because it won't scratch up the drawers and stuff will just stay more organized but I'm so happy to have another one I can't wait to organize it and next time you guys see hopefully it will be all set up I'm excited hi guys good morning so today is May what's today's date it is May 27th and I am finally purchasing the tabletop that I'm going to be putting on top of the Alex drawers this has been such a long process but I finally decided on the 47 and a half by 23 inches I just think the 59 will be too big and also the Alex drawers are only 22 um, inches deep and the other one was way too big there would have been like seven inches difference between the tabletop and the alex shore whereas this one is only an inch and five eighths bigger so there's not going to be that much hangover off the alex shore so i'm happy with my decision to go with this one i'm gonna go ahead and order it right now and then once it gets here i will come back and show you guys the assembly so i'm about to order this now i don't know if you guys could see this keeps going out of focus i don't know why so the delivery charge on this is 9.99 if you guys are planning on shopping at ikea this is the biggest size tabletop that you can get before the shipping goes up to 199 if you guys are planning on getting the 59 inch the shipping will be 200 dollars so the 47 inch and under is only $9.99 shipping. So just wanted to let you know if you guys were planning on shopping the tabletop on Ikea. Hi guys, so today is May 29th and my Ikea tabletop has arrived. That was super quick because I believe I ordered it on May 27th, I believe, and it arrived here in two days. It just got here in the mail a little while ago and I'm so excited. So now we're actually gonna get into assembling my new vanity. As you guys know, I wanna do two Ikea Alex drawers with the Linman 47 inch tabletop on the top. So now that it's here, we could finally start organizing it. I know this process has been so long. I really wanted to have this done done in like January or February but things happen school happened and we are finally getting around to doing it now that it is my summer break so I'm just gonna head downstairs right now and grab the actual tabletop I'm also going to grab my brother Nick to help me just because we have to take the existing desk right here out of my room put that one in with the Alex drawers underneath and do all the setup also I know I've been wearing this red shirt on my channel like all the time but it's just comfortable and I have no idea what that stain is so just ignore it but let's just go ahead and get on into the assembly i'm so excited to see this come all together
Okay, so update, the desk is almost assembled. We went ahead and put the tabletop on the two Alex drawers. And then after this is all done, I'm going to load the makeup back up into one of the Alex drawers. I'm not sure if reorganizing my makeup is going to happen today or another day, but I think what I'm gonna do today is definitely cut drawer liners and put them into the second Alex drawer that doesn't have any drawer liners yet. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into emptying the second set of Alex drawers and also lining them. In here I just have some excess stuff, a little sneak peek at my 10K giveaway, some backup stuff, some makeup artist stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take all this stuff out. In some of these drawers, you guys might see I have a lot of these organizers. These were sent to me by Story, and I absolutely love their organizers, and they really just hold the product so nicely. Also, if you guys do see the green desk back in my room, I just had to move it back in my room temporarily until we could carry it down to the basement and find a spot for it. So it's just gonna live here for now while I do the rest of the stuff to this vanity, but of course that's not staying there permanently. Now I wanna show you guys my trick into preventing stuff from slipping and sliding around the drawers, and that is drawer liner. I found this for very, very cheap at my local dollar store, but I'm sure you guys could find this on Amazon. If I do remember correctly, I did find something similar on Amazon, but it was a lot more expensive. So definitely check out Walmart or your local dollar store if you guys have like a Dollar Tree or a Dollar General. I'm pretty sure that they would have something like this. This is just a really great trick to prevent your products from sliding around. If you guys have the Alex Shore, they do have just like a smooth bottom, and especially this material type organizer will slide back and forth when you guys open and close the drawers. So I just finished lining the drawers with whatever drawer liner I had left. I actually had two brand new rolls, but I didn't realize that it wouldn't be enough. If you guys were wondering what comes on these rolls is 12 inches by 30 inches, and that is not enough to do even two complete drawers. I was able to do a drawer and a half per roll of this, so I'm gonna need to get a few more rolls, but what I did is I aligned the top two drawers in the Alex drawer, and then I took, you guys saw, I took the other two halves of what was left and put it together. I really would hate to waste it, so even if you put it together, it's not going to lay like perfectly flat in the drawer, but I might even put like a piece of tape, but once like organizers and products and stuff are sitting on top of this, it shouldn't really give an issue. And even my other Alex drawer, which I lined probably like a year and a half ago now, I have some drawers that have like two or even three pieces of liner, like where I just needed to use up some small pieces and it works perfectly fine I don't find anything wrong with it so I can't finish lining this today because I don't have any liner left I was actually just at the dollar store too today but I'm gonna have to go back and grab two more rolls I think two more rolls will do yeah because there's only two more drawers left 
So just to show you guys up close what the liners look like, they just have this really nice grippy material to them. So like I said, when you open and close the drawer, nothing will slide. But I just wanted to quickly talk a little bit more about the story organizers that I mentioned earlier. This isn't sponsored, but I just really love these organizers and story was so kind enough to send me over a bunch. They come in so many different sizes. If you guys are looking for good makeup storage for your Alex drawers, I definitely would recommend them. They have really big ones. I'm trying to find have really big ones where'd they go so they have really big ones like this I think this is 9 by 12 they have like square ones like this which I really like they have these super cute tiny ones right here which you could use for like hair ties or like maybe like nail polish or something and then these this size this is the three by six and they have so many different sizes and you could buy them like individually by size or you could buy them in a variety pack I think this is the three by six one and then this is the three by twelve which this one is really good for like liners or brow pencils or anything like that so I will definitely have all of these linked down below I do have all of these linked in my Amazon shop already I believe but they are really really great organizers if you guys are looking to organize your Alex drawer hi guys so again it is the next day it is currently May 30th it it is what time is it it is 1 31 in the afternoon there we go I just ordered my Jaclyn Hill lipsticks a little while ago I was ready for 12 p.m. when they launched so that's what I've been doing today anyway getting into why I started recording aside from ordering Jaclyn Hill lipsticks which you guys will see a review on coming soon I can't wait to get them in the mail um, right now I had this idea to actually take a photo of my Alex Shores and edit it um, and kind of do some virtual labeling, I guess, is the best way that I could describe it. Let me find the photo. I just airdropped it to my laptop. But I thought it would be a good idea to do some, like I said, just virtual labeling. Just so I could get a feel of how I actually want to organize the product. So I just airdropped myself this picture that I quickly just took on my phone. And I kind of just want to label the drawers of how I think I'm going to organize them. If you guys are unaware of how I currently have my makeup organized, I kind of like to have it in order that I do my makeup. But there are some drawers that are just completely overflowing and need a little bit of a makeover and just need more room overall. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, I'm just using the site Be Funky. This is what I use to edit my thumbnails and if I need to slap some text on a picture, this is what I use. So I think I'm just going to, let me make it a font that's more readable. So I think I'm just going to start with makeup artist slash kit materials. Um, or maybe not materials. I don't like the word materials. Maybe like supplies, kit supplies. I obviously can't spell. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far. I feel like I have like a decent layout. I actually have one drawer blank and I don't know what to put in it. So maybe I will just keep it as an extra drawer or maybe I will throw like some just extra things in it. So I have eyebrow stuff and single eyeshadows, blushes, bronzer, highlighters. This I might expand into the second drawer. I have to see how things are fitting. Right now the drawer is really full but I also do have face palettes and cream bronzers combined with my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So I'm thinking that maybe when I separate the two I'm gonna have more room in my blushes drawer. Foundation and primer. This drawer might be a little bit big to have just foundations and primers but I feel like it's fine face palettes and cream products and then eyeshadow palettes and then going up into the second set concealers and powders the empty drawer makeup artist kit supplies and my lashes as well this drawer is going to be lippies and then the last drawer I'm going to do any extra skincare my nail polish as well as backup hi guys so today is June 2nd and I currently just got in the car and I'm heading out to run some more errands to get stuff for my vanity like I mentioned earlier I do need more drawer liners so I'm going to be heading to the dollar store for those and then I also do need some like hardware stuff So I need some command strips to hang up some artwork and canvases I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite things to get for those I like the double-sided command So I'll show you guys those in the hardware store and then I also need to get those little silicone grips to kind of grip the tabletop to the top of the Alex drawer I know they do come with the Ikea Alex drawer, but at the time I didn't know that's what they were for and I ended up 
up throwing them away. I will be taking you guys into the store with me if I can. Not sure about like the store's recording policy, but if I don't get any footage, it's no big deal. I will definitely show you guys what I get when I get home and also any other assembling and stuff that I do today. So let's just go ahead and get started with the errands. I'm in the store and these are the best for hanging pictures because there's no hooks and they don't swing and they sit like flat on the wall. So I'm gonna get one or two packs of these. These are exactly what came with the Alex drawer that I drew out. So I'm gonna grab a pack of these to get the tabletop to sit nicely on the Alex drawer and not slide. And they're only $2.99, so pretty cheap. All right, you guys, I am back in the car. The dollar store didn't end up having the liner, so I had to go back in the hardware store that I was in and I found more of it. I found a thicker roll this time. So this is five feet. And I believe the other one that I used to get from the dollar store was less than that. And I'm gonna go home and maybe start putting the rest of the this liner in the drawer and then after that I think the last step would just be organizing all the makeup in it I'm gonna head home now and I will see you guys in a little while back on my normal camera and all of that good stuff okay guys so one set of drawer liners are done right now I'm going to work on switching out some of the liners that are in this drawer some of the liners actually aren't in bad condition and I don't think I have enough to line a whole set of drawers so I think what I'm gonna do is just empty everything out of here pick out the bad liners like I think this one I'm gonna have to change it's a little messed up but some of them aren't in the worst condition but I'm going to empty this set of drawers wipe everything down because this is my older Alex drawer so it does have some like makeup stains and stuff and then I will either keep the liners in or add new ones with the new roll that I got you guys I am so excited because I just finished lining all the drawers with the drawer liner and that means they are ready to be filled and I can start organizing all my makeup in the drawers this is the part that I've been looking forward to the most throughout this whole process I am so beyond excited to start reorganizing my makeup into these two drawers and just so everything has its own space and its own home I am just so excited to get into this and of course I will be doing an updated makeup storage and organization video that should be coming sometime within the next next month or so definitely before the summer is over I'm going to get that video up for you guys but for now it is time to get into organizing the products I am so excited so definitely sit back relax and you guys can just watch me organize all my makeup so let's get started
Hello guys, welcome to my new filming setup. <laughs> Hi guys, so welcome back to another day of this very long vanity transformation vlog. Today, I'm going to be hanging up the pictures. This is a little sneak peek of my filming background. The last thing that needs to be done with the vanity is actually hanging up the canvases. So me and my boyfriend are going to hang up the pictures right now. I have my traditional eyelashes and you go girl, the same canvases that you guys see behind me all the time. I'm gonna put them up here, so let's get on into it. Alright you guys, so that is my vanity transformation. That was the whole process getting this vanity together. I really hope that this video was helpful. If you guys are building a vanity or if you needed like certain pointers on your Alex drawers, please, please, please let me know if I missed anything in this video. If you guys want more details on anything in this video, definitely make sure to click the description box down below. I always link everything, so definitely check the description box. If you guys don't see your answer there, definitely feel free to leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram or Twitter. Twitter. But I really hope that you guys found this helpful. I really hope to crank out so many more videos for you guys now that I have my own beauty studio. I really feel in the zone. I feel inspired and I feel just so ready to film for you guys. So definitely let me know what videos you guys want to see this summer. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this whole process and this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave. I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam. If you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming videos, definitely make sure to click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!